Well, good morning or afternoon or whenever it is that you've decided to take a look at this and to get ready to do some work. Uh, so you've obviously looked at the Google Classroom and you see that there's a number of things there. Um, everything that's there you're going to be able to use to help do the assignment, which is the notes. You need to fill in and answer all the questions on those things and then drop them in Google Classroom. So uh, you'll find the notes there. You will also find this video, obviously, or you're kind of really ahead of things. You'll also find a crash course video that'll also tell you about World War I. And you will also find chapters from the book if you desire to do those. Uh, you'll be using those things and web search and anything else you need to to get all the questions answered on the packet and turn it in. All right. Uh, now, you probably remember, I hope you do at least, that uh, we'd gotten a little ways into World War I already. And so uh, we're kind of ahead of the other classes, but we all wanted to start at the same place. So... What we've done is we're taking a little bit of a step back and part of this is going to be a review and then after that it's going to be looking up new information. And today I've decided to really kind of go after uh, what was the feelings that were caused by this World War I situation. So um, just to get going, uh, just to kind of a refresher and stuff, the um, reasons World War I started... I fall into a number of different things, but the one thing I want you to remember is main, M-A-I-N. What were the main things that caused World War I? Uh, for M, it's militarization. At this time, all of the countries that are building up arms, uh, especially Germany, and they were really just building it up because it was another war will happen. We've got to be prepared for it. And if we've got all this stuff, we're going to kick everybody's butts. Uh, the A stands for alliances. Alliances. This is where they've decided to team up. Why just take the hit by yourself as long as you can get a hold of other countries to protect yourself? You remember we did the lineup of the people in the class big kids and small kids and everybody coming together to be able to win a fight. Well, the same thing was happening in this war. The I in Maine stands for imperialism. This war has all of these countries looking outside of its own border and figuring that they need to expand to be able to make things work. So this is gonna put an extra strain upon all the different countries. And the N stands for nationalism. It's the growth of the belief in their own country and the rivalries between them and all the other ones. So it's a massive move to get things going along those lines. All right. You might find that as the first thing you gotta write down. All right, that's kind of a heavy hit. So you gotta make sure you know the different sides. Uh, you know, there was the Triple Alliance or as we call them a lot of times, the Central Powers, which were made up of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Bulgaria. And then a little bit later, and we'll be covering this a lot uh, next week, is the Ottoman Empire joins in as well, which is going to have a massive influence on our world today. Uh, then there's the Triple Entente, or the Allies, as we're going to know them. And the three Big ones to begin with, of course, are going to be France, Russia, and Great Britain. And many other countries are going to join as well, but those are the big three. Okay. Then this thing starts, and uh, right off the bat, we get right into a stalemate from almost the beginning with trench war ending up happening. And uh, trench warfare is this digging down into the ground and having these trenches. And if you remember right the last time I talked about this, it's because there was nothing but a bunch of flying lead 
up in the air above this. And so everybody gets down underground so they're safe from the bullets. And speaking of bullets, there's five new modern warfare things that are really, really impacting things in this war. Uh, the first one, of course, is the machine gun, and it's the one that has the biggest impact, just cranking out millions and millions of bullets and just not caring about who it hits, just wanting to make sure it hits somebody. Uh, then, of course, submarine warfare, and then tanks, airplanes make their appearance in war for the first time, and then, of course, gas. And um, so those are the main five modern weapons that are going to be used. You might find those on that piece of paper, too. All right, after that, you've got some stuff to do here on this assignment. Uh, make sure you answer each of these questions and you put them in and then turn it in in Google Classroom. It's got to be in by midnight of Sunday. And I'll be grading them on Monday, hopefully. And on Monday at 7 o'clock, you will find a brand new exciting assignment for this next coming week. Uh, hope I didn't overshoot my amount of time I'm supposed to be teaching towards. If you find it excessive or if you have any questions, you can either email me or you can drop into the Google Meet that I'll be sitting on from 1 till 2. And the information on how to get to that, of course, is already posted in the Google Classroom. Well, there you go. Love you and I miss you guys. Take care.